I saw Vivian Bang do a performance art piece at Red Cat Theater in, in downtown Los Angeles. And then a month later, I get an email and that says, do you want to make a movie together? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much true. I was just blown away by, by her performance and everything that she was talking about. The piece was called Can You Hear Me, LA 92, and it was dissecting the LA riots from the Korean American perspective. and you know, getting into the, the history and politics between the black community and the Korean American community. And really more than anything, I wanted to know how she arrived at this piece and, and who she was behind the characters that I saw her playing. And as I was watching the show, I had this idea for a film where we would get to see some of those characters on screen, but also who she was as a contemporary artist living in Los Angeles now. and trying to find her place in the world. Well, I think um, given the political climate right now, I think all artists feel like they have a call to serve, call to act, you know. We, we all have to make work that sort of tries to examine the truth from multi-levels. And so for me, revisiting history and then telling it from a decolonized version of a Korean American version mm -hmm. um, was a way to, um, you know, bring the marginalized to the forefront and even with history, with stories and so, um, I was looking for a way to talk about now, but you know, from a from the past. So I embodied a white shaman who's like a clown, you know, who is like a street performer, punk rock, you know, um, sort of truth sayer, and she's kind of talking about these tensions, but from the media, you know, the the not just racial tensions, but economic, civil tensions, and you know, it, just from a very uh, broad. Um, I mean, f from a very multi-level perspective. And so I think that's Sophia in, in White Rabbit, you know. She's this artist that is trying to not only work in that platform, you know, as a street artist, but also, you know, through the online platform of YouTube videos and trying to find audiences. And, and many, you know, performance art is like not a very gratifying field. You can, it's not like making a painting or sculpture where you can hang it in a gallery and you sell it. Performance art, there, you know, there is, where do you perform, you know, there's no, there's no monetary gain, so it's kind of playing against the capitalism. So I thought, you know, given the climate of where we are now, it was, you know, a very resonant piece that I had to do, make. 